Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about priority encoder. So previously we have seen encoders, decoders which are normally executed with 2 power n inputs and n outputs for encoder and for decoder n inputs and 2 power n outputs. Okay, now priority encoder is similar to your encoder, basic encoder which has 2 power n inputs and n outputs but the, there is a small difference I will explain when we go into the operation. Okay, so first priority encoder is a circuit or an algorithm that compresses multiple bind inputs into a smaller number of inputs because it is having the size like size is 2 power n by n. So it is a circuit, circuit or algorithm or algorithm that compresses multiple binary input multiple binary input to a smaller number of to smaller number of outputs okay so this is a just a detailed explanation what do you mean by a priority encoder. So the output of a priority encoder is the binary representation of the index of the most significant activated uh, starting from 0. So the output of priority encoder is the binary representation is the binary representation of the index of index of most significant bit starting from starting from 0 ok see here Let us consider, let us consider 4 to 2 priority encoder. For better understanding, we will go with an example, priority encoder, 4 to 2 priority encoder. Okay, so 4 to 2 priority encoder means 2 power 2 input lines and 2 output lines. So the logic diagram is just, it is having four inputs which is d0 d1 d2 d3 and two output lines y1 and y0 okay we know the basic operation of it is priority encoder with size 4 to 2 we know the basic operation of the encoder depends on the decimal number the corresponding binary representation will be the output depends on the decimal number the corresponding binary representation will be the output suppose d0 is activated out of all these inputs if d0 is activated then output is 00, 0. if d1 is activated then output is 01 so like that we will be having the output for the normal normal encoder see this is the lsb bit don't forget that lsb and msb is very carefully chosen in this particular priority encoder if you confuse in the representation of lsb and msb then there is a problem with the encoder okay priority encoder operation you cannot uh, uh, accomplish so let us uh, go to the tool table see here here you can understand what do you mean by the priority encoder and what is the basic difference between the encoder and priority encoder d3 d2 d1 d0 and we have outputs y1 y0 see what is the order i have taken the same order i have taken in the encoder also but here it is must it must be significant okay so it is lsb and it is msb see this is the msb bit and this is lsb bit this is regarding output side and coming to the input side this is lsb and this is msb okay now go to the combinations 
go to the combinations listen carefully here is the basic difference where you can understand what is the difference between uh, encoder and priority encoder see d3 is 0 d2 is 0 d1 is 0 and d0 is 1 d0 is 1 as d0 is activated out of all these four inputs as d0 is activated so output is the binary representation of the one nothing but one zero zero okay binary representation of this d0 not and not, not means zero zero means zero zero and now see here zero zero one zero previously for normal encoder we have taken zero here we have taken 0 here for D0 and all other remaining bits are 0. So, D3 0, D2 0, D0 is 0. As D1 alone is activated, as D1 alone is activated, the one corresponding binary representation is 0, 1. This is the actual output in the normal encoder. But here, in case of priority encoder, we are going to select the priority. See. Here, if you give 1, what is the output? Can you tell me? If you give 1, there is a confusion whether D0 is activated or D1 is activated. Both D0 and D1 are activated. Then what is the output? Is it 0 or 1? There is a confusion. But priority encoder gives the priority to the highest bit, most significant bit out of all activated bits. Out of all activated bits, which is the msb which is the msb here d0 is activated d1 is activated so d1 is the msb that's why one should be the output what about this one d0 will not be d0 will not be chosen in the output as the highest priority bits are enabled hope you understand the basic difference here okay but if you apply the same with the encoder encoder will not work properly then you have to go for the priority encoder so which is having the highest priority that you have to that has to be selected okay so if we d0 is 1 or d1 is 1 uh, sorry d0 is 1 or 0 whatever it is the output is only chosen by d1 so simply we keep instead of keeping 1 simply we keep this as cross cross means even if you keep 0 d1 is the output even if you keep 1 d1 is the output similarly 0 1 0 1 x x that means even if you choose 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 whatever may be the combination here there is the highest priority bit d2 is activated output is 2 1 0 and similarly here also output is 1 1 as d3 is the highest priority bit that has to be chosen that has to be activated okay so this is what the truth table of the priority encoder hope you understand okay now how can you write the boolean expressions of this so boolean expression boolean expressions y not is equal to see here y not is activated in two cases here and here so y not is activated here in this case where we can write this as d1 uh, d3 is also taken d3 bar d2 bar d1 plus see here we are not considering the don't care bits we are not writing the don't care bits so uh, y not is activated when d3 bar d2 bar and d1 plus and here coming to the other bit it is d3 simply okay so we can write it as we can write it as c a bar b plus a a bar b plus a we can write it as b plus a so simply d2 bar d1 plus d3 and similarly y1 is equal to y1 is equal to y1 is activated in two cases so it is activated here d3 bar d2 plus d3 d3 bar d2 plus d3 so we can write it as simply as per the previous rule a bar b plus 
a a bar b plus a you can write it as b plus a so simply d2 plus d3 okay hope you understand what do you mean by priority encoder and what is the basic difference between priority encoder and normal encoder so priority encoder gives the priority where the msb is activated okay if uh, if any msb is activated it will not worry about the lower order bits okay if you want to expand this truth table you can expand the same otherwise you can keep it like this the expansion is nothing but in place of x you can keep 0 or 1 in place of xx you can keep 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 like that you will be having total 16 combinations will come okay both are same you can keep this normal or that one also and coming to the logic gate level diagram logic diagram so d3 d2 d1 d0 d3 d2 d1 and d0 so first one y0 is y0 is nothing but and operation between d3 bar and d2 bar what is it d2 bar and d1 so d2 bar and d1 d2 bar and d1 and next d3 or operation between this this is nothing but y0 and coming to y1 y1 is d2 and d3 or operation between these two this is y1 okay so in the next video i will tell how to write the vhdl code for this priority encoder